This episode was requested by my patron, Nikki Marie. I'm not a big fan of grandiose I'm leaving statements. Spare Room with Karen Terry. Hey y'all and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry and today we're going to talk about how to know when you've joined a bad group. So I made a video about how to find the right group for you and I also made a video about how to be a good player in a group and I'll link those up in the cards so that you can go watch them if that's more what you're looking for. But I've never really addressed what to do when you find yourself in a bad group. So that's what we're going to get into today. Every group is different, and just because a group is great for one role player doesn't mean it's great for all role players. The first thing to think about is what matters to you. And yes, this is the same advice that I gave in the finding the right group for you video. If you don't know what you truly want and you don't know what your deal breakers actually are, it's going to be really hard to know if you've joined a group that is bad for you. So yes, the first step is the hardest step. Self-discovery. Think about the groups that you've been in before. What did you like? What did you not like? And go from there. Once you know what your deal breakers are, then you're more likely to recognize when you encounter a deal breaker in a role play. Pay attention to what's happening socially between the other players and between you and the players, and pay attention to how that makes you feel, and think about what exactly is causing you to feel that way. The thing that's kind of tough when you don't know yet what you're really looking for is to know if the cause of your negative feelings is the group or if it's you. If your behavior is causing the group to act a certain way, then every group you join is going to be a bad group. So how do you know if it's a bad group? I use the five whys method. This is simply when you face a problem, ask yourself why five times to get down to the root cause. Let's do a non-roleplay example, and this is a true story. Our problem is the Washington Monument is crumbling. Why is the Washington Monument crumbling? Because of the harsh cleaning chemicals that we're using on it. Why are we using those cleaning chemicals? Because there's so much bird poop on the monument. Why is there so much bird poop on the monument? They're coming every evening and eating all the spiders. Why are there so many spiders? They're eating all the flies and moths. Why are there so many flies and moths? They're attracted to the lights that we turn on to light the monument at night. Okay, so we have asked why now five times and we have revealed several places that we can solve the problem. We could handle one of the earlier whys and invest in different chemicals that aren't so harsh on the monument structure. Or we could think about one of the later whys and maybe we just don't turn the lights on so early. When you ask why, all of these times, you reveal lots of different ways you could solve the exact same problem, and you're going to get a list of things that are a lot easier to do versus a lot harder to do, and you can make your decision so much better. So when you're facing a problem with a group, apply this five whys method so you can determine if the problem is more the group or if it's more you and what some possible solutions might be. Is the problem you? Is it another individual player? Is it a specific mod or admin? Or is it the overall structure or leadership of the role play? Where the problem lies will determine if you're really in a bad group or not. All right, so if you've joined a bad group, obviously you need to leave. But before you make that decision, let's go back to our possible causes and see if that's really the right thing to do for every single cause. The problem is you. If bridges are burned, it might be best to leave so that you can do better elsewhere. Or maybe the relationships are salvageable and you can fix it. I've got tons of advice on various social skills when it comes to roleplay, so I recommend looking through my Roleplay 101 playlist, which I will link up in the card, and if I don't have a video for the type of thing that you're facing, let me know down in the comments and I will add that to my list so that I have resources available for that. The problem is another individual player. Do you really have to roleplay with them to enjoy the game? And if so, is it something that you can talk to them about and fix it? I don't think conflict is a bad thing, so if it's possible to talk to them to resolve the solution, I think you should try. Even if it doesn't work out, this will equip you to be a better conversationalist in the future. The problem is a particular mod or admin. 
This is really the same advice as when it comes to an individual player, and if they're a mod or admin, the bonus is they should be even more willing to listen to you. Now understand, listening is not agreeing. You might talk to them and they'll tell you that things are not going to change for you. So if that's the case, then you go back to knowing what your deal breakers are and make the decision on whether you need to leave or not. The problem is the structure of the roleplay. If the problem is the rules or the lore or just the flow of how roleplay happens, just leave. Don't expect a roleplay to change its structure for you. It is a losing battle. It's not worth it. So, if you've decided to leave, remember, this is a group that you're leaving, not an individual. It'll move on without you. I'm not a big fan of grandiose I'm leaving statements. It draws attention to you when you're trying to get out, and I've found in a lot of cases they're made because the person kind of wants to be begged back or they want to see that people are sad they're leaving or stuff like that, so just don't even give off that impression and skip it. If you have close connections with specific people, then my recommendation is to DM them and let them know individually, and that is absolutely polite and appropriate. And once you've done that, just click the button to leave, whatever that is for the platform that you're on. It doesn't have to be a big deal, and leaving a group doesn't mean that you have to cut ties with everyone in that group. Instead, friend request those that you really enjoyed in that group so that you can keep in touch with them, then leave and find a new group to roleplay with. That's all you have to do. And I made a whole video about endings with role plays, so I'll link that up in the card. I recommend going to watch that for more tips on how to end things. So to recap, first, you need to know if you're in a bad group, and I recommend a five whys analysis. Then determine if leaving is appropriate or if you can salvage the situation. And if you do need to leave, do so gracefully. And that's it. That's the bad group video companion to the finding a right group for you video. What did you guys think? What do you normally do when you realize you found yourself in a group that's just not working out for you? Let me know all of that down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.